We're not going to see how to count any object using AI vision. This is something that many of you are interested in. We will see coding from scratch the, the logic of object counting. And also we will see two different types of counting. So if you're not familiar about counting, you should know what are these two types. One is the detection based counting, which is the most basic one. And it's what you usually see in video tutorials. And it's the counting when everything is visible on the frame that doesn't take into account the time and the movement of the elements that, are, that get out of the frame. And then the most useful, most complex one is how to count objects by tracking them, so tracking base. And this means having a line when the objects cross this line, we count them so that we can count infinite objects over time. We have a few video examples that we are going to use. This is one example that we will use in this video where we're going to detect and count vehicles. We will count the vehicles that are crossing a certain line also, we'll count detection-based vehicles that are waiting, so vehicles that are always on the frame and visible. Then we will count the people. We will see how to deal with small elements and how to get the best accuracy in such cases. Then we'll see tracking and counting of very fast moving objects. In this example, we have a drone flying over a broccoli plantation and we're going to have a very reliable counting despite like the high speed of this drone. And you can use the same approach also when you have a stable camera and there are very fast crossing objects like this. And then we will also look another scenario where we'll have a very big view with very small objects. Like in this case, we have a drone that, and on the ground we have a lot of ships. We want to count them. So we will see what's the best approach to also count very small objects. This is great when you have like satellite images or drone views, or even if it's not, or CCTV cameras that are very far, like for example, uh, in the top of a building that take a very high view. And then after this, of course, in the middle of the video, we're going to also talk about the most common problems that you can get with the counting and also the mistakes that you should avoid and the best practices.